Hello everyone, welcome to Color Designs. This will be the last lesson of Corel Draw Basic. After this, I will start creating my professional course and uh, uh, I will create it. I need some time to complete it. So if you like my course, my basic course, you can come up there and check my professional course. I will show a lot of tricks and tips to create logo design, banner, voucher, and uh, website design and uh, artistic flower designs uh, i will show you a lot of tricks and methods to use to create a very complicated design in a very simple way in my professional classes so you will get it easy because i will not uh, make my professional classes lengthy so you will not get bored of my classes uh, so let's get started with our final lesson of this basic course in this course, I will teach you how to export the files and the variations that you need for printing, for use of printing. First of all, uh, you have to understand that you need C and Y K colors for printing and RGB for internet use. So if I need my C and Y K color, I will go to Window, to my color palettes and uh, select the C and Y K color palette. Now, I have uh, to select a specific size to create my design. So for the size, I will select, uh, I will go top, uh, the top right here and the property bar. As you can see, my size measurement is uh, in inches. So I, will, I can select and change that to millimeters, points, pixels, uh, and uh, feet, yards, miles, anything I want. Obviously and uh, commonly that we use in this option, uh, we will take the feet or meter size. Now I will choose from here that how much uh, the size of vertical and horizontal will be to my design, to create my design. So I will select a vertical number. I will take for example five for that and uh, for example nine for horizontal or maybe three. I'll press enter then I will go up here so as you can see i have a rectangle shape size uh, measured right here this is the size that i need to print my design so this is how you select your size and measure it now what you have to do is uh, double click on your rectangle shape so it will automatically uh, cover the number the measurement that you have selected the rectangle shape will appear right here now you can design your shape your banner or your anything that you want or maybe anything else so you can create your design anything that you want to enter and insert in this design and you can simply put it inside and gather them all together I hope you understand this one after that uh, if you want to print it or make a JPG or convert or export it to any size you want for example if you take this as a design I will select it my design is not centered with uh, my page so what will I have to do is there is a shortcut key and to use to centralize it with your uh, shape or your background so first uh, I will select my text or my design then I will press shift and select my background then I will press C which will uh, centralize it horizontally then I, after that I will press E it will centerize it vertically. CE will center it perfectly with your background, your design with your background. So this is the best way and the easiest way to centerize your design with your background. Now I will select the whole design and press Control G. After that, I will go to File and press uh, Export. There are two ways to export files. One is for the web and the other one is uh, export for printing. For example, if you need to export for printing, you have all sorts of uh, files you can um, export. For example, I will give the name first. After that, I can select which what kind of file that I need. Uh, is it must be EPS, JPG, PDF, AI, or maybe something else? You can select it from here, and uh, after selection, you press export, and you will select your file location. Then you can press export. The file will be export, and these are the options that you need. If you have uh, to do any changes, these are the options that you can make them. But this is not necessary to use, so I will let it be and press OK. So my file has been uh, exported. So we will go and check uh, uh, our file. 
as you can see our file has been exported uh, to EPS right here is it is right here I will delete it and uh, this time I will uh, export it for web so I will go to file export for web you can select the web then the, another file will be open in a moment and uh, there you go you can select original PNG GI, GIF or JPG I will select the JPG for because it's the code of a picture I will come bottom I will select the color or maybe grayscale RGB CMYK which color you need it to be I want it for the web so I will put the RGB color mode and I will select the quality I will put it on high quality and I can change the width and height right here as well so I will not do it right now if you want to do it so you have to remove the checkbox then you can properly set uh, the width and the height by your own needs so I will uh, let it be I will select the highest quality now save I will uh, go to desktop and name it to anything I want and I will save it to JPG now I will go to check it as you can see my design is right here ASDF SAD and is a pretty high quality uh, so this is the way uh, to create uh, a JPG file to measure your the size of your printing file but if you, you don't have any idea how to measure it I showed you in this lesson hope you understand it and uh, get something from it if you have any question kindly ask me and about professional classes it's not ready yet I will complete it as soon as possible I will see and check your comments and will be very thankful if you like this course. Have a nice day. Thank you.